Motorists face long delays after multiple car crashes on a short section of a busy dual carriageway. Cars are at a standstill on both sides of the A1 between Junction 73 for Swalwell, Tyne and Ware, and the Metro Center Shopping Center, and Junction 77 for Kenton and Jesmond in the same county. Three vehicles have collided near Junction 77 and 2. Cars crashed in a separate accident further north near Junction 79 for North Brunton, Tyne and Ware. There is also a broken down car near Junction 80 for Seton Burn, further adding to congestion northbound. Southbound traffic is particularly slow between Junction 79 and Junction 77. Southbound drivers are encouraged to leave at Junction 79 and take the Great North Road through Grange Park and Gosforth. The diversion will take Drivers through Newcastle upon Tyne and Gateshead to rejoin the A1 at Junction 69 by Dunstan. And, as Chronicle Live reports, northbound motorists should leave at Junction 73 for Swalwell, take the A695 over the River Tyne and then through Scottswood and Denton Burn to rejoin the A1 at Junction 75. Emergency services are at the scene of each crash, it is understood. Northeast Live Traffic tweeted, There are heavy delays on the A1 Western Bypass and Lane 1 is currently blocked after a three-vehicle collision between J77 Kingston Park, Kenton Bar, and J78 Fawden. The delays are expected to continue through rush hour, which has already been busy in major cities like Newcastle since the start of the week. Offices have started reopening after more than 18 months of closure enforced by pandemic restrictions and, subsequently, there have been scenes of crammed buses, rush hour traffic and heatwave agony this week. In London on Monday, rush hour traffic returned to pre-pandemic levels as commuters struggled with gridlocked roads like the M25, A2 and A20. Congestion at 9 a.m. was put at 61% capacity, almost the 63% it was in 2019.